Hi there, Dave here, how are you? I'm going to have a little chat about the Bessie K-body clamp. Now this has got a parallel head on it, so as it pulls together, it's equal pressure at the top and also at the bottom. Even underneath here, I can clamp at the top and pull things on that side. Pretty amazing. Stick with me and we'll have a look. Okay. Now one of the interesting things about this clamp is that it comes with these little guys. Now these guys have got a little hole in the base. They slide around the spine of the the clamp, spine, back, whatever you want to call it, the bar. And I've found that these little Carbotec fence clamps will slide into there nicely. Now, you're saying, yeah, good on you, Dave, what's that mean? Well, that means now that I can clamp this clamp to a bench. So how I do that is I can, I've got three points of connection with the K-body clamp. I've got two there. I've got another guy down the end here. So this one is at 1.25 meter. Um, move that to there, that to there, and I'll slide her on there. Here's the clamp. Bring it right to the edge. Tighten her up. That's got him. Not going anywhere. And I can tight put one on the other end down here. Can you see me all the way down here? Back that off a little, slider in. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, see that? I've now got a clamping system that's going to hold on really well. So I can, I can slide this along to any point that I want, drop that in, bring that up tight there, and look at that. Look at that. It's got a hold of it, top and bottom. Now, what did I say before? I said I can even clamp underneath here, which is pretty amazing. There we go. Slide that into there. Tighten up. Not going anywhere. Brilliant. Now, the reason I'm doing this quick review on the clamp, not because I'm pushing Bessie clamps, even though they are very, very nice, but I just did a video on making a box, and this is the box that I made. You know, I haven't taken any further. When you saw me sanding it, you know, I was holding on to here, and I was struggling a bit, I went over the edge and finished it off, and I thought to myself, uh, you moron, why didn't you just drop it into a Bessie clamp, tighten her up like that, and she's got it there. Now, I'm showing you with a 1.25 meter long clamp. I could have used a 300 millimeter clamp, or a 600 millimeter clamp, with two feet, one feet for you guys in America, and be much shorter, and I would have grabbed it there. Or I can take the fence clamp off from down the end there and bring it up to this point here now. Let's do it. The reason I'm doing that is because we've got a bit of wobble there. I'll fix that. Tighten him up. How cool is that? Brilliant. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try with the sander. Now, the last time I had got this down to, I think I'd sanded it down to 120. I've got some 180 grit in there, and I've got the blue head in the little Festool ETS-5, because the blue head won't let any roll happen. It's a dead flat situation. And also, I've got it hooked up to my overhead dust system. I did have it hooked up to a bag on the end, and whilst that's okay, I was just basically showing the portability of that bag. It's always better with a dust extractor. So let's give it a try. Okay. Turn off. <laughs> my, obeys my every command. How good it is. That held it perfectly. I wasn't putting any stress on the joints at all to, to crack them, you know, to, to break the glue joint. Um, that's come up absolutely beautiful on, the, on 180 grit. I might even take that a bit further. Now, obviously, I don't, I don't need to just use this guy for sanding. I can use it for planing instead of having a bench dog and what have you. I can use this 
Now I'm just going to have a look at this box here and see if I need to plane anything off. That needs to have a little bit off it. So I'll bring it up to there. Make sure that we're pushing on the timber itself. Don't grab the middle of the box, obviously. That would end in tears. Give it a bit of a plane. Holds it well, doesn't it? Beautiful. Tell you what. Well, Stanley's seen better days, but that is so easy. Not sliding around at all. I'm getting a nice shaving. Beautiful. Look how cool is that. Okay, let's do the other side. Uh, go that way with the plane. You don't have to put it all the way down. As I say, it'll hold it at the top. The main thing is to grab it here. Don't grab it in the center. You'll crack all the joints. So put it right on the edge. That's cool. Up a touch. There we go. Had this plane since I was 16. 41 years ago. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. This is, this is just so easy. It's a great little system. I just stumbled across it. I looked at it and I thought, hello. They're probably purpose built, but you know, I just jump into things and do stuff and then I'll have a look at things and I go, you know what, while I'm using this, maybe I should do, maybe I should uh, utilize those little holes there. Anyway, thanks for watching.